Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'll show us how we can make an app that reads all messages from a user's device. So we can see after the permission has been granted, it will load all messages from my app from my device. So available messages in my phone will be loaded here. All my available messages and so will be available here. So I will show us how we can create this in SketchWay. So I created a project called SMS. At the end of this video, please support me by subscribing. The project will be available on SketchWay. You can download the project from here and get other projects, all other of my projects. So I added a list view, a list view that will show the list of messages. Then I added two more blocks. Added two more blocks. These are to create a more block. Permission list now. This will list in for events when the user accepts the permission or rejects permission. So if the user accepts the permission, I'm going to restart the activity. So when the activity is restarted, when the activity is restarted, it checks whether the user has granted permission. If the user has no granted permission, it will request the permission to read messages of the user. So if it has not granted, then it cannot read message. But if it has granted, it will read the message. But if it hasn't granted, it will show a dialog for the users to grant permission. So when they grant it, it will refresh the activity. So I have I created a list string, a list string, a list string called str. Then this is my list string get SMS. My list in get SMS. Get SMS is defined in my SMS more block. Define my SMS more block. You can see this get get SMS is a method, it's a function that returns a list string. So address is the phone number, body is the message itself. So we can actually, if you don't want to, if you want to use it in a list map. So if you want to use a custom view, instead of adding it to a list string, you can add it to a map, then map to list map by doing this. What is not necessary? You can just do this. Then you create your map. Now we create a list map. A list map. Then we add map to list map. And see this as the number. Number. Message. Then we use our get list string block. The string here is address and body. So address is the number. Address body. So doing this now we have added it to a list map. So if we are using this custom list view in our own grids after doing this after doing this you can just set adapter from here using list map block 
so they set it based on this map so thank you for watching this video as i said the project will be available on sketchly you can also download all of my projects available on sketchly for free please support me by subscribing project will be available here thanks for watching